being they're looking to get straight down and just hold, really. You know, not super over the top or anything along those lines. Holding the line, though. Whoopi Tank 3 has actually picked up a couple. And are we having action this early into the game already? I think we are. Just trying to play some orb control. That was a cute little uh, toggle of the smoke there to try to find a pick. And they are aware that Tux is in the corner. Now they're going to try and isolate him. Yeah, going to push up immediately, and the Aftershock's actually going to catch him off guard as well. But two more members, they lay wait. And of course, Autumn, he's actually picked up the Phantom in this round as well. So quite an investment, quite an upgrade. He's holding a very aggressive line right here, Mitch, but he's going to be punished for it. Scrawl's going to find the entry into as well. And that straight away is the site opening. Five versus two, Spike to go down. And now it's going to be a retake with just Spike the Spectres. Yeah, going to try to get back into it. Dexter is going to find a pick, but this is going nowhere fast right now, Mitch. That is just an absolute player's in position to stop this push here, Mitch. Straight on in, Cal already up to that side, utilizing the Tailwind. This guy's going to be able to find one with the paint shells and Texter, another. So on the other side of the Nebula, they've actually kind of walked into a two-man crossfire. He has found the timing somewhat, but this guy's going to win the aim duel. The raw adjustment is a little bit faster. Autumn already in the perfect position, as we mentioned, and Autumn having absolutely no issues here. Yeah, that was super clean. Very, very well played by Order. You know, two looking to make it confident. They're not actually going to overextend a peek into him just yet. He will be able to actually find one and then utilizing the dismiss. So he is low on HP, but that's going to be the rolling thunder to uh, sort of break the mold a little bit now. Trying to get onto the site, but Tux is absolutely ready for it. What good for the trade, but Sign is also there. But despite Autumn being taken low, the rest of the team is already here, Mitch. And they should even be able to lock it back with the shock darts as well. Look at the control. Disco coming in from the flank and man, you know, putting these uh, two duelists absolutely to the left. test and full merit. Flashpoint through, but still just sort of holding. I'm just trying to find a good angle, a good timing to swing out. That's one a decent one. Pex gets a lot of damage oh. done, but... The... Uh -huh. Mind Freak not full committing to this just yet. It is just Ooh. more so the map control. Uh -oh. I spotted him. That's a little bit unfortunate. I thought potentially there could have been a sneaky pex right there, but it will be Autumn to find another. And as you mentioned, Mitch, you know, these rotates are so good to watch. They don't get the mid control, but instead they just sort of send it back. And I think they're going to still be rewarded. You know, Mind Freak's still looking to charge in here. And I think there should be another duel engaged in just a second. Autumn's made a lot of sound, but Tux holding that line does look to find one, but it will be traded. And in the end, oh. Watt's also going to take it too. So this is a much better result here. That's the Hunter's Fury to come out, though. Sign's going to find the opener. Yeah. What's well, trying to take matters into his own hands, but unfortunately can't get the spike down. Tex has got this one covered off, and the Boombot's actually oh. the one to finish it. Scroll can't shoot that in time. If a couple of it's just a full retake A setup, so order. Very, very good position for these guys to defend it. They're just going to leave the site open for the time being, and there's the kill Joyol as they look to kick off this retake. Great lurk from Norsen as well. He's going to be able to break that lockdown, so this is what they were waiting for to see if any sort of informational control would come around the back, but. Almost a double up there. Disco able to pick up one here. Texter for another. And all of a sudden, despite finding that sign early and looking to get the spike planted, they haven't even had it happen yet, Mitch. It's all sort of turned on its head. Sign's going to be able to find it. Norson with another. But Order, once again, just so far ahead of the curve site. We do have the members sort of sitting back and waiting. So it will be that spike planted in just a second, you'd think. And that gives them a good little bit of time to sort of play these post plants. Yeah, don't want to get caught off by the shock darts is the main thing, but Signed is going to throw a couple in there anyway. Maybe that one not ideal, but the second one might shift a little bit of damage. The flank kill goes oh. in favor of Tux to even up the accounting, so that's going to be a fair amount of worry thrown into Mind Freak sales right now. They're going to have to start worrying about the flank, but the majority of the retakes actually coming through CT here. And all that info from the Recon Bolt towards underneath Heaven as well. But again, Tux still to be that linchpin. And they've sort of left him. They've forgotten about him, it seems. Disco will come through Heaven as well, picking up another. It's Calf to get one more. But it's all under Pex here in a 1 versus 2. Only has the Spectre. They both are sort of going to walk into his crosshair. But look at that. Moving as a unit. Perfection. But, yep. Jumping into this garage now. Should be an all-out brawl in just a second. Cal's there. It's going to be a good opening pick, though. And now the dash across. What? Scroll also getting in board. So maybe a round where we might see Mind Freak finally pick it up. Mm -hmm. Plant. Definitely not in the ideal position, though. They're going to lose uh -oh. Scroll nice and early. Whole bunch of utility being dropped by Disco. He's looking to try to get back in and take this round over. He's already done some further damage too. Two of these members very, very low, and they're just sort of peeking into him one by one. Now his good friend of Sign has arrived, and he's actually going to be able to find one with a shock dart too, Mitch. So wow. it's all onto just Norson. He is so good. He is so reliable. But in this situation, there's just so much pressure right now. We'll be able to get the tag on surely onto the opposing side. Now he has all the information. We'll destroy the turret. Now the recon bolt as well. Getting so much. Should be an easy take for Sign unless Norson hits a good shot, but he will. 
Pressure amounts, but he keeps composed. And he so many issues right now. Autumn doing what he does best. He's going to pick up the orb this time around and uh, find himself an opening pick. Starts to dismiss. But as we know from Autumn, man never stops re-peaking. Full confidence. I think the main factor is here. They've actually managed to get around the uh, our drone. Cal's going to be getting up close. What? Okay. Don't right click. Uh, Don't right click. Yeah, that's kids. a bit rough. Yeah, I guess it. that's perfection. Just take yeah. the right click button off your mouse at this point, unless you're, you know, orping or something like that. This is promoted by Church of the Left Click. Disco, trying to hold on to that position, and he's going to get another. His aim is just so crispy. Looking to get the showstopper off as well. Oh, that's very out of character. I was just propping him up for having such good aim, but now that's going to be the lockdown engaged. Do they actually just go in and contest for this? Norson is going to be able to find one, but it's just going to be too easy. Lockdown destroyed. Disco and text. Order, doing what you do, though, once you've found yourself a man disadvantage. Just going and trying to push and take map control. Unfortunately, Mind Freak set up relatively well for this until Garth loses his life. Yeah, didn't exactly need to sort of peek in there, but I guess he sort of gives up the goat a little bit. Norson does equalize, though. It's back to a three and three. Yeah. We're going to get that spike planted. They're going to wait for the teammate to at least sort of slot in. Norson is ready for it, but they're going to line up a little bit. He does get the flashpoint I through, planted. not quite, but Sign's going to get that plant for now, Mitch. Yeah, an extra couple of taps delays the plant a little bit longer. He has got a drone, but I'm not sure how much use that's going to be. Assigned. He's going to go aggressive. He sees oh, the players close, and he's going to try and take a few pot shots, but an awkward engagement. A couple of jumps coming out. I think that's going to be the end of Autumn as well. He's full white. Hex has just taken that one over with his flash points, and Norson's just having a... Already has the lockdown available. Norson could be the man right here to actually get the job done. Just realizing Ooh, he has the phantom, he has the information, and those oh. shock darts over the top. Oh, actually that's gonna destroy. Gorgeous. No! Is it going to get it? Yes, it will! Oh, man, the nerd lineups. You've seen them before. They're absolutely beautiful, but Pex, he's straight on in. Norson to follow. Texter will be able to at least find one on the defense, but the information coming out from this recon bolt, it's still a disadvantage going the way of order. But if I know these teammates, these guys can get the job done, and that's exactly what's happening right now. It's all on the Pex. The rotate can actually come out from side. On the cross, he will hit the shot. And oh man, they creep their way up towards this mid area as well. Looking to take B. Will Kalth actually be ready? Will they find the right amount of timing? I oh, know, the Leah tries to come out, but who will win this engagement now? Sort of have to fall on around there. It is utilizing it well. And now I think that's going to be order basically just sort of marching into B immediately. Oh, Tux, that must have been a hell of a lineup. And as soon as they find those two frags, they just immediately push into A connector. But Kalth is there at the ready, finds his third for the round. Still two members that they have to overcome. We saw this in the previous round, right? The three versus two. And now Texter looking to make his way into the nebula. He's actually gotten off guard, Mitch. Here we go. Straight through this position. Completely unaware. They're looking for him. They're trying to find him. Information gathered now on the other side of the cloud burst. Texter, experience above all. This man is a monster. And he might be able to lock it down. He whips a couple of shots. Will Calf be able to connect? The answer is no. Texter taking the team all over the top into the spawn. Just gathering all that information. So now order off the back of it. You know, they've won from disadvantages the last couple of rounds but they have to face off against this judge you know how much Tux hates it and that's going to be a punishment for him and now Norson opens up with another Texas they're good for the trade though and now Kalf with this blade stalk does he wait it looks like he will but that's the Empress pop Mitch and that's a scary thing to hear if you're in a two versus three against Autumn yeah Autumn's very low so he could just die pretty quickly before he even puts it to that much use Texter faking a couple times Trying to bait a mistake out of oh. my freak cut, just waiting in this garage break, and he's just going to pop out oh, of the back beautiful. of the flashpoint again. It's done. You know, it would have been a, always a shame to see a map go out like that in that fashion, but I think, um, you know, the positioning, Norson didn't get overwhelmed, and it was well done. All right, well, some good... You, you, uh, yeah. Try to... He's got an old man walk his way out of the site <laughs> like nothing happened. Not even looking at it. Oh, forget about it. Order, uh, order brother. It always catches me off guard. Yeah, they're dual left. lurking look at both sides, Funky. Like, yeah, look I don't at even know how what is this? this round right now. They're going to go oh. back to see everything's happening. Please have gone out. <laughs> Please have gone out. No. <laughs> oh, oh, why would he? This is crazy. They're lurking A yeah. and C at the same time. about this round, Mitch? Kalf got four kills. Oh. They won the... Chuck his wall down, I think, and then uh, immediately play out that spike. So order straight into a five-on-five post-play. 
The El Clasico looks like Autumn is actually ready for what though pushing in on this Viper. Looking to sort of swing it around now, see if they can get any sort of extra control. Autumn with the Sheriff, he's going to be sideswiped though. Norson will be able to find that one. Disco saw him pull off a nasty ace with his ghost only yesterday. And now with that finding that frag, it's going to be sort of pushing towards it. But Norson, he's actually managed to pick up another one as well here. Mitch really starting to push in. That toxic screen is going to fall down in a second, but it's tucked as soon as it does. Trying to find more. Norson looking to make it a third, but peppering the damage through that wall. On to the other side, Norson. And he can't quite get it all. And man, it's just it's up between Kalth and Pex, who unfortunately can't kill the drone, and that means that Kalth's position Ooh. is compromised. But he's still able to get away with an opening pick. I need to see confident Kalth more. That's just the, you know, initial sort of uh, control being taken early, and the confidence to be able to actually push back too. Pex is going with them. They don't need to overstay though, and getting that wall down is going to be a good way of uh, performing that. Looking to grab the orb as well. Oh, Peck sweating bullets behind this wall as it slowly starts to get cracked open. But Kout's going to give them pause for thought. Throws down a few of those jet smokes and he will Ooh. still just wait for the contact. Trying to find out if Order's still interested in this part of the map. They have confirmed that there is a few players still over here. Peck is being oh, very annoying. That's a nice little light up for the man. You love to see it. Little 2k from him. The two man crossfire is essentially just winning Mind Freak this round. Kept them there for a long time. That was the main focus, right? Now they just sort of have to force their way up, see if they can take any engagements over towards this long position. Here we know Order are very good at playing from behind, but I think it's still going to be a tough challenge for them here. Doing some more damage through the heaven position. Stein looking to see if he can find anything more. Main focus here is just trying to get that spike down right now, you know, and I think Mind Freak are actually giving them a little bit of an opportunity to do so. So that's going to be the plan. But Norson does deny in 30 seconds. Order's going to pick up and get it all the way up right now. Going to be utilizing that lockdown as well. Looking to destroy the wall. Might actually be able to get away with that one. The Nano Swarm is also there. And that's going to be Norson to find the entry and the opening here. Some good damage done from Watt as well, but he will be traded. So at least the advantage going the way of Mind Freak in this position, Mitch. The spike is dropped, but it's going to be an initial contest in towards Heaven as well. Great double swing. Good team effort there. And now it's two members of order to try and pull this back. And there's the lockdown going back the other way. The spike does go down, but Mind Freak, they have a two-man advantage. This lockdown is actually going to be order pushing forward Ooh. into it, but I'm not sure they have enough time to get out. Scouts has at least got them locked in here. And Tux oh, yeah, nice. Get well done. That's going to be it. Very clean. I love that patience there. Able to destroy it, but pushing on in. Need to land that shot here. We'll force him out. Snake bite to sort of push it back a little bit further. Disco's actually going to be able to find one in the process as well. Now making his way in towards this site. Kalf could be the man to potentially stop this aggression. Onto the other side. That's one with a right click. We talked about this left click. But it's actually going to work out for him this time. Disco and Autumn, however, just to bring themselves well and truly back in front. The remaining two members have to go huge here, Mitch. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be happening. Although Scrawl does find the first open up. Unfortunately, he's going to play it directly, I think, in between a rock and a hard place. Autumn, he doesn't find the timing correctly, but it doesn't matter. Man's so sharp that he's able to make the raw adjustment anyway. And it's going to be Disco, just to close it down for order. Didn't look like a doing. And it's a much quicker round this time. Norson's actually going to find the opening on the Tux, and that's a great utilization of the Viper's bit here. What's going to be sitting inside with the Judge. And this actually could be a round that they find if they're looking good early. Looking for a third. Norson taking matters into his own hands. We continue to talk about this man right now, Mitch. And now scroll off the back of the information. Norson with four. Go for the ace, mate. Autumn waiting all the way over towards this B long area. And just pretty much seeing if anything will actually occur out of this Viper's pit. He's going for it though. He's hunting. He's made the sound. But it's Autumn that he needs to find and it's not going to be the ace. <laughs> ah, whatever. You know, threw a gun away, but he's uh, he's just seeing red at that point. Can't blame the man. What's the highlight? I don't even know that that was a round that Mind Freak had any business winning. I don't think they were even fully invested in that one. Norson was like light armor Phantom. with the Phantom. Yep. Some of them had sheriffs and marshals. I'm not sure if all the opportunity here to try and find it. That alarm bot's going to gather a plenty full amount of information. Autumn with the opening though, dropping down scroll here. Looking clean, looking crispy as he usually is. Fights played over the top, not quite spotting it. Now knows Calf jumping up the top. Disco's actually there to wait for it. What picks up one on the flank though, and now these other members, they're here, Mitch. Norson, Pex, they're going to be able to collect on a couple here. What finds one more? That's all in a Disco. He just gets out of this kill joy lockdown, but no, the time is going to be enough. There it is. That's going to be the Nano Swarm to absolutely lock it down, but it's half. He's warned himself in indeed. He's going to be able to find this. Oh man, that's so lucky. 
so lucky, but maybe not at the same time. Well, that's when the engagement is about to come out. They do fall away, luckily, however. And the damage is dealt. The trades do come out. Norton onto the other side. Could trade out for Texas, but getting that res in. Texas found another as well. Calpers pick up one more. That wall's going to go down, but he should hit this shot, and he will. They're connecting exactly when they need to right now, Mitch, and after expending that res already, Disco does get another one back, but Cal is in an awkward spot. How's he still alive? He will be taken down by Disco in the end. And Pex now tasked with the impossible. He's stuck behind a wall. Yeah, he's got a res, and he's got a teammate's body right there that he can use it on. Gets Dawson back into the equation, who does have a lockdown available. He's going to throw that down straight away. They are going for this. Two ults invested in this two on three. They want this round here, but... There's going to be so much time ticked off the spike. There's already a Killjoy mine in position. I'm not sure this is going to be worth it for Mine Freak. Yeah, certainly a big task right now. You know, we already knew it, but after expending that res, clearly they're keen to get in here. They need to move quickly, and they're going to be able to find some damage. Pex good for one, but that's all left on the sign here. He is going to be able to get the heal off, but look, 1v2, up high, down low, firing a couple of shots. He's still got one point of HP, but Disco makes it four in the round, and that is, again, this... Spike planted. Shock dart. Looking to slowly move in. Great shock dart there. Putting Disco into a bit of an awkward spot. Scroll's gonna pick up. Now back into that 4 on 4 here, Mitch. Autumn is going to be able to at least force one back, however. Tex are getting aggressive. He already opened up in the round, and now it's another. Looking to make it more, but just as quickly as it started, Mitch, it already goes back to a 1 versus 4. Kalf now ahead of everything. Our drone's even going to come up, finding the information. It's got so much available for him, but, you know, just such a difficult position. He's going to run out. He's going to just try and find some exits here. And that's going to be a sixth round for Order. You know, they put themselves in a position where they at least tie up the half. And Body else in our region. And now they look to split it up as well. Sent two down towards CT, three down towards mid. Are you joking me, Sign? You can't just be pulling that off, my friend. Looking for more, but I think it's going to be Pex to actually find a bit of a charge. Only good for one. And now Calf. Oh, God. They're dropping like flies here. Scrawl's also such a uh, odd position as well. We'll be able to find one. Moving up into heaven, that turret. Always making it a little bit awkward, but there's just so many angles he needs to check. A curve from Mind Freak. Oh, the push over towards B, though. Actually, both of the kills that are key going the way of order. Mind Freak now sort of reeling at the moment, but Ooh. they do find a couple back, and actually they're going to be able to secure control of this A side here, Mitch. Autumn's low as well, and he's got a long way to rotate. I mean, they still have to get this spike planted. What's holding onto the line does short of shoulder beak it, but he gets caught a little bit, and that's going to be an easy-peasy 3k for Disco. I mean, I like the effort. I like the idea. Mm -hmm. Versus Autumn is no Getting easy ahead. feat, but unfortunately, he's already used this dash to get into that position. So he's in between a rock and a hard place right now. Norson making good work of a trade, though, onto the other side. This goes there, too, but trades. It's what we need, and it's what we're seeing right now. Sight will be taking control of, and it's a long way on this rotate. Kalf is ready for it, though. Oh, oh my God, he's just been race car peaked. Yeah, it's, Tuck gets it, the job done. You two on two. Run. Ferrari peak. There's the Killjoy ult Yo. from Norson. That's going to slow down this retake for the time being. Scrawl, picking up the orb previously, does have access to his Hunter's Fury, but he's playing quite a close position. I prefer that. He's going to reposition. He's going to go to a bit of a safer spot where he can utilize that ult to try to win this round now. Both quite deep. That's a nerdy line up there. Onto the tap. We'll go over oh, the top. Oh, they shot it. Nice. Yeah, clean. They're not running it, though. Not going to be able to pop that one now, and they're one just going forward for the duel. Going to try and hold it down. Scrawl's been pretty good today. Oh, he will continue standing. that form. Tux does take him down, but he's not got enough time, Mitch. It's going to be not enough. He does at least clean house. It's going to make it expensive for Mind Freak. Well, but uh, you're on the attacking side, oh, so you've got off. no money. Look at him go, mate. He's just dancing. He's dance. You will oh, not how good's he at these own. openings, though? Good res. But has to invest very heavily, gets the wall down, and cheeky headshot from Autumn. What a push into mid as well. Disrespect at have, its finest. Have you ever seen Autumn kill someone and then choose to run away? Never. Never <laughs> happened. Look at him, he's oh, just no, he's going gone in back. for more. He's gone back. Oh, there you go. Two. Yeah. All right, two, two. That's enough. That's enough. Or is he just okay. going to go try to kill Kalth now? Well, he won't have an opportunity to, unfortunately. And Mind Freak, a terrible round to just lose pick after pick after pick, even investing the res here. I think they're going to, unfortunately, have invested a ton of vaults into this round and 
got basically nothing out of it. All they got was their economy oh. broken. All they got was just slapped out of the server by Techstar. So fired a couple of warning shots. They know there's two inside the kitchen and they've been isolated as well. That's going to be a great Hunter's Fury to come out from Sign. The spike does get planted though in the end and Techstar picking up one as well. So Disco still living on, really making it difficult for Mind Freak. Autumn another shot. This could be very well the last gasp wow. of air. But Cal at least gets one back and now oh, the defuse comes on in. Norson's so far away, it's just done. The round's over, and we're pretty much closing up. Right, that was absolutely beautiful util on the retake from order. You can't go, eh? There's a Viper's Pit there. You, you go for that fast mid to B to try to throw caution to the wind to try something a little bit different. And it's him and Text up, just trying to get in the base of Mind Freak. Have they oh, ever failed to find the first pick? It's almost, it's very, very rare. I mean, especially tonight. This is just disgusting to play against. Mind Freak again, down a man, trying to play from a deficit. And they will expend the pit. I guess it's the last sort of ditch opportunity now to really try and make something happen. Calf will be able to drop Disco in the process. Pex inside. Are they actually looking to exit here? There's already that full flank. The big rotate coming through. Dexter gathers some information. A missed shot from Autumn. And that actually allows the advantage to come the way back into the round, Mitch. Here we go. Potential opportunity for Calf as well. Scroll will drop one on the flank too. And now the shock dart to go into this Viper's pit. It's got to actually find one. Dexter making quick work. That's the resurrection. The round's been turned on his head right now. But Pex, he's still alive. But Autumn is as well, Mitch. Now it's onto the 1v1. There has been a little bit of a heal to come out. But holding on for dear life right now. Scroll, the information... Has been gathered. Autumn straight in there like swimwear, and he is out in the round. 